Good evening. Welcome. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Does the feed look good? Am I blurry? Do I look too white? Hello and welcome. Let's get some people rolling inside here. What's up, what's up? Hello, Nanette, Andrea, Keegan, Billy, Hedgehog. What's up? Dan the Man, Rob Smith. What's good? Phoenix Vapes. Feed looks good. We okay? Do I look nice and white? I need to fix the ISO on this thing. Hold up. Go a little up and close. Mm. Did that fix anything? No. I think we're fine. Screw it. It's all good. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're going to do a little, little small livey. Cameras on point, Mr. Batman. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Gonna do a little, uh, show you guys some stuff I got. We're gonna do some Patreon shoutouts, upcoming reviews, and that sort of thing. Then we'll do some chat, answer some questions. You know, you know how it goes. Hello, Rachel, Jason, Pal702, Louie, Louie. I couldn't find a good sweater to wear, so I just wore this. Sorry, man. I need a hookup on a sweater. Dame Bentley, what's good? The Wicked Vapor, what's up, man? Dave Mack, my man Dave, what's up? Barry, Spicy, Tin Man, Chris Dobbs. Is, how's the audio? Is the audio good? Am I too loud? Am I just good enough there? Let me know. Hello, Kathy. What's good, Noah? What's up? Jonathan, what's up? Hello, Priceless. What's up? So... Uh, sup, Mike? So, uh, I'm not smoke. It's I don't know what that means. Hello, hello. Audio's good. Two thumbs up on the audio. Good all around, Mike. Thank you, Nanette. Thank you very much. All right. First thing we're gonna talk about is the bulk. I'm gonna show you guys the bulk. I got the new bulk RTA. Look at that, huh? Look at that bulk. Mod is the Finder, uh, Think Vape Finder DNA 133 thingy, but I felt I'd match it up on there. That just looks sick. 28 millimeter, but gorgeous. Yeah, buddy. It's a vape. Pal702, thank you for the $10 donation. Just because your camera looks amazing. Steve did a great job. Steve. You're getting props here. That ten dollars yours. Great camera quality there, Steve. Very nice vape. I'm not gonna really talk too much about it. I just wanted to show you guys the bulk. Just wanted to show you guys the bulk. You guys could watch me vape it. Full review. We will talk about everything about it. I'll show you guys the build. I'll raise your hands if you guys want to see the build in here. I want to see hands go up. Thank you. Hello, Dennis J. What's up? Storm Vapor. There you go. There's my build. Focus, Danielson. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'm losing focus. Look at that. It doesn't want to focus in on it. It's too bulky. There you go. Damn, focus. Steve, you got all them compliments on the camera shit, and then you go and fuck up all the focusing, motherfucker. Uh, I need a new Steve. Anybody want to be my new Steve? Yes? No? Maybe? I'll be taking applications for a new Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve's been screwing up lately, I know. You've noticed it in the reviews too, right? He's been screwing up. But yeah, there's the bulk. The bulk RTA. Yeah, buddy. Sexy. One more vape. Uh, Joey V. Steve says you got to take him to court for that money. Good luck getting it from him, he said. What's up, Martin? What's good, man? Moogly. What's up? All right. Next thing. I'm going to show you guys. Actually, before we do that, I want to do some uh, Patreon, quick Patreon shout-outs. I know I don't usually do them. 
I know I've been missing out in a few months. Yeah, 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 I know. But I got a tier for shout-outs, so we're going to do them right now. Aaron Coleman, Adam Kudrick, Pud Kudrich, Billy Ancillo, Kathy Nobles, Christa, Christine Waters, Daniel Colby, Dennis Fongiales, I know I butchered your name, Edward Cap, Garrett Rechtal, Ian Thomas, Ingi Jari, Jocko Lee, James Bond, 007, Jamie Tidwell, Johnny Oaks, Les Hodgson, Mank Vapa, Mancello Jr., Mario Green, Robert Shortkey, Ronnie Murray, Scott Zegans, yo, 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 Shane Perkins, my man Simon from Coily Tool, my man Simon, Spring Lassiter, Thomas Schmertz, and Tommy Marolt. And yes, thank you. I butchered all your names. Thank you very much. Hello, welcome. Zap Raps in chat. What's up, brother? Jay Jarry. Hello, man. Chris Davidson. What's up? All right, next. What do you, What else you guys want to see? Another new new? I know I didn't put it in the title, but I'll show you guys the another new new. There we go. QP Designs. I think it's called the N M25 RTA. The M25 by QP. Got it on the Boxer DNA 250C 21700. That's how of vape. Mike, you missed the super chat very early. Did I? I'm sorry. Who super chat did I miss? I got pal. Oh, Louis Nicolette gave me a super chat. My man Louis. I'm sorry I missed that. Love the sweater, he says. All right. There, he just gave another super chat. Louis Nicolette. Just cause pal did it. Your sweater looks great, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah, it's so tall. Uh, this RTA is so, uh, it, it, va it vapes good and everything, but I just, I do not get the double airflow. I, I get why they did the airflow, but in looks wise and how tall it makes the RTA, I would have rather just had one controller and control both at the same time, but I got it tuned down. That's what you could do with this. You see that? You could see my airflow. I have, uh, I guess one of the airflows. I think it's the outside ones. I got it just a little bit open. And the bottom is just that honeycomb part coming up from the bottom. So I kind of opened up the top, the side openings a little bit. Just to add that, because it was a little bit too restrictive with just one. So I kind of like, yeah, blended it in. Garrett Rectal, $1 donation. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. And the way I got it set up right now, it's a nice, smooth... Uh, very little restriction on a direct lung hit because that's what I like. I don't like a fully open, just like breathing air in. It just makes no sense. I want to, I want that flavor. I want that flavor out of the RTA. I'm getting it with the airflow the way I got it tuned down right now. I will not be talking about flavor on all these on the full review. I mean, this is too early. The flavor is good. You're going to get great flavor off of everything that comes out nowadays. You know, it's just, is it top tier or is it just good flavor? You know, it's in there. It's too early for me to, yeah. Uh, thank you for the 99 cent donation from Rebuildable Ryan. Thank you. Mike Vapes looks like a heat sink at the bottom. Uh, no, no heat sink on the bottom. It's just a tall, it's just tall. It's a tall RTA. It's got, yeah. But uh, it vapes good. Comes with a bubble glass too. But I don't have the bubble glass. But everything on here is like, it's got juice flow. It's very finicky. Your top fill is reverse top fill. It's very odd of an RTA. But uh, once you get a, the hang of it, you know, it's all right. Josh Rhodes, what's up, brother? Nice vape from it. Uh, Kathy Nobles asks, at Mike, date for Rebirth RTA going on sale. Uh I, th I don't have a specific date. They told me middle of this month. So what's the middle of this month? In about maybe uh, 10 days. 10 days from now. Yep, I should have them on the site. Uh, Berry Hot, $25 donation from Berry Hot. I forgot to leave Steve money on the nightstand for the other night. Thanks, Steve. You were great. 
Steve, what the hell? Damn. Well, Steve's got a smile on his face, so I guess uh, you showed him a good time, Barry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, my man Brandon Drake's in chat. What's up? Shane Smith, Rob Smith, Grim Yo. Rob Smith. Oh, I think I said Rob. Ricky Mahoney, what's up, brother? Good seeing you again at MVE. Uh, Rachel Manzi says, oh my god, can't wait. Yeah. Oh, that's, we're doing a little buffet thing. Oh, what am I vaping in the bulk? The bulk has, uh, some of this stuff here. Some drip fiends, apricot, and cream inside there. And in the, um, what was the other one? The, uh, the M25 Fatality. That's what it's called. The Fatality RTA. I have some of the shots. Squid Industries uh, shots 12 gauge inside there. I'm also vaping on, yes, a Rebirth. I got the Gunmetal Rebirth RTA right there. I got it on the Ultroner EOS2. I love this mod from Asmodus. This is an awesome mod. I never reviewed it. Don't know why I never reviewed it. But it's a mod that I've used a lot. I love this mod. I'm not sure why I didn't review it. But anyway, now it's a little been out already. I'm not going to even bother. But yeah, awesome mod right here. And uh, look what I got inside there. We got some of uh, Joe motherfucking Turner. Some of his raspberry custard. Royal Vape products. That's where you can find it at. Or on my site. Uh, that 25 millimeter is nice. I'm liking it. Yes. 25 millimeter, baby. Rebirth. Looking good. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, I think in about 10 days, something like that, it should be out. It should be available for purchase. Let me know in the chat if you guys want um, me to put up a pre-order for them. Should I put up a pre-order? Uh, Nanette says, Grim Green went head over heels over Mike's Rebirth RTA. Can't wait for it. Yeah. He actually built it during his vlog, which is pretty cool. He built it, vaped it, and loved it, so. Hell yeah. Uh, la, 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 la. I knew he'd like it because it's that, the airflow. It's not that fully open, like, oh, it's just airflow coming in. When it's fully open, you're just getting flavor. Flavor and vapor coming in to your lungs. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, Cougar says, thanks for the reviews. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. My man Felix Vapes USA is in chat. What's up, brother? Yes, Dave Max says, yes, pre-order. Yes. Now we got one. Two, we got Rebuild of Orion said, yes. Who knows, maybe we'll put one up. Maybe we'll put one up uh, tomorrow. We'll put it up. Yes, I've seen uh, Grim Green's uh, Mike Vapes impersonation. I think he did it in a vlog. We were both doing it together. Mike Vapes. And he was like, Mike Vapes. Mike Vapes. <laughs> it's funny. What's up, Phil Salt? What's good, man? Oh, what else? We got some other new-new. Another new-new that I didn't put in a title, but I've um, been testing out. We got, this is the uh, lost, this is not the new-new, but this is just the mod I'm using. This is the E Petite DNA 60 from Lost Vape, single 18650, uh, DNA 60 board. And there, don't want to focus, but anyway, on it I got the new, uh, this is called the the Slide, Slide or something from Inikin. It takes the Zenith coils inside here, mouth to lung tank, very nice. I actually prefer this one over the Zenith, love what they did with this one. Nice mouth to lung vape. I got some of this stuff here. I got some uh, poodle skirt strawberry swirl taffy, 12 milligram in here. I think it needs a little more nicotine. I should have gotten 18 for that one. 18 milligram would be so much better. But I got 12 inside here. Very nice. Very nice. So that's going to be an upcoming review. There's another upcoming review. Trinity Alpha, uh, UNJ, live at the same time. He probably saw I was going live and figured he'd go live to tr try and trump me on live. It's all good. 
it's all good in the hood, or maybe it was just coincidence. You never know. You never know, man. You never know. Is North Korea in the house? Not no North Korea in the house today. I don't see uh, Mr. Fagan. Mike, what's your forts? My forts? To the QP design fatality? I have no clue what the f forts are. Are you trying to say if I'm farting while I'm using it? And your man is... Huh? And Carl says, and your man main is $2,000. I have no clue what that means, man. Don't know. How do... How do you get the rebirth emojis? Oh, you have to... There's a little join thingy on the bottom where you join and you get all the emojis. Uh, UK soon? Yes, it'll be in the UK soon. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, I think we have a new member. Shout out, Rebuild Ryan. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so, pretty good. Uh, like I was saying, this, um, uh, slide? Slide. They call it, like, you know, like, slide, but it's slide with a Z because it uses the Z coils they're calling them I think but anyway it's like you got to like lift the drip tip up because the drip tip's got this like child proof thingy you can see that little stump where it prevents it you from sliding it out so you kind of got to lift it and slide to fill but if you use a regular 510 drip tip you don't need to deal with that it's their drip tip that they put on it does that on purposely for uh, child safety, so no kid will try and open it and try and, yeah, like, do one of these and drink it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, if you just came in, I was just showing it. I showed it already. There's the QP design. I've been testing it out. The Fatality M25. I've been testing it out. Review coming soon. Uh, let's see. I can't wait to try the bulk. Yep, I showed the bulk earlier. Uh, 2000, oh, main camera? No, this camera that I have is a no $2,000 camera that I'm using for the live feed. No, this is the, uh, a Sony uh, A6000. It's about 500 bucks. this camera. With the lens. But this lens that I have on here is not the lens that it came with. This is a lens that I bought for photography. But, uh, it's a 24mm prime. It's a Sony G Master lens. But it just, uh, yeah, everything just looks good i mean bam this is a new one too another new new device review coming soon on this this is from S smoke not smock the noobs call it smock but anyway whatever it doesn't matter but this is uh I, this is called the morph the morph that's the back but I, for me this looks like the alien right isn't that like the alien v2 that shit looks like an alien it's like an alien and g priv had funky sex together a little and they came up with this one here yeah so that's the uh the morph by smock smock smoke uh if craig asked if i'm into photography uh yes but i haven't gone full into it i've got a lot of good stuff to, for photography it's just uh fixing my a background setting for the photography because i want to take some nice products of some nice pictures of vape products and shit like that. So I'm working on that. So I've been mostly concentrating on camera gear for YouTube. You know, for my reviews. If you guys have seen lately the my videos, it just I've changed up everything. Obviously, for the live too, I've changed that up a little with the cameras. So yeah, I'm, I've been big into cameras lately. Just trying to get uh, my camera and my audio, everything to be perfect for you guys when you guys watch YouTube. You know, when you guys watch my reviews, I want you guys to have good uh, quality. You know what I'm saying? You are spending your time watching a video. So, yeah, giving you guys good quality is what it's all about. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah, buddy. I'm not a professional camera person. I'm learning as I go, you know? Let's see here. Uh, don't use mic. Don't doesn't use or review clones, man. No, I don't. Nope, not this channel. Nope, there's no reason. There's no reason. Everything is priced just right, right about now. Hell yeah, the bulk. One more time. There you go. There's the bulk. The bulk on the Finder Think Vape Finder DNA. Well, people are gonna call this mod a clone, right? It's like a lost vape clone. 
There you go. 100 watts. Yeah, so vaping on that. Uh, oh, here we go. New, new. New mechanical mod right here. This is called the Keen. This is from Tenacious TX Vapes. Maker of the... Uh, wow. Bing. My mind went blank. Maker of this. What's this called again? Wow, I forgot the name of his uh, fucking mechanical mod. What's the name of the mech? God, the Dreamer. Wow, my mind went blank. Anyway, maker of the Dreamer. This is his new one called the Keen. The Keen. Yeah, buddy. Got the Rebirth on top of that. It's got a nice switch. Con constant contact switch with this. 21700. And it comes with different top pieces. So I have it set up right now for the 24. I can't remember the other sizes, but I think there's one for like a 28. But you could always change it up. They, they give you inside the packaging, which is right here. There's the packaging for the Keen. And inside here, you're going to see the extras that they give you. They give you some silica gel. But you have... Let's see, we got to focus. You got a top cap, top piece here that screws on, another top piece. But it's not a whole top piece. It's just the ring. I'll show you guys in a second. Some extra inside parts. Little 18 650 uh, adapter, if I'm not mistaken, in there. Little claw thingy. You guys will see all this in the review. You'll see it in the review, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, another thing I got. Shout out to Stan the Man. I got a nice black button, fire button for the Dreamer. Pretty sure it's for the Dreamer, not for the Keen. What's up, Big Red? What's good, brother? And he actually hooked me up with a new Arden, a white one. Yeah, buddy. Got a new one right there from, you can get this on Lucid RDA. You know, the, then the rest of it, you guys can figure it out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say a whole website or whatever. Whatever, lucidrda.com. That's where it came from. That's who sent it to me. I could say who sent it to me. Lucidrda.com sent that to me. Thank you. So yeah, I got the rebirth on top of there, on top of the Keen .13 aliens inside here. Got my favorite coils, the Coilology uh, Twisted Messes N80s inside here. There you go. Rebuildable Ryan says 25 millimeter, 28 millimeter, and 30 millimeter ring. And just so you guys could see what this ring is about, I'll show you guys now. So this is the top piece. Bam. So this piece unscrews. You can see. So you can just change this for different size atomizers that you put on here. Pretty cool. That's something I've never seen no nobody else ever do that. Have you guys seen other companies do that with their mechs? I haven't. Maybe they have. I'm not sure. But I haven't. You know. So anyway, yes, I got that. And inside there, I have some of this liquid right here. Some Sad Boy Shamrock Cookie. Yeah, buddy. Let's have a vape. Kathy Nobles asks, is the Keen better than the Vindicator? Uh, for me, no. Actually, um, we keep it honest and real here. I'm friends with uh, Stan, but I, th I like the Vindicator better. Just the way it feels. This is kind of... It's big. It's a bigger mech. You know what I'm saying? Focus a bit. You know, maybe... I don't know. It's just bigger. It's a nice mech. Fire button's nice, but I I like the Vindicator better. Uh, okay, so I could use that black button on the Keen. It's the same actual switch. This part here that you're touching. Not the whole switch housing. All right, cool. Uh, Zap Rap says that it's been done uh, before quite recently, but in a high-end world. Okay, so that's been done before on top. There we go. Vaping Swaggins in chat. What's up, brother? Yeah, Carl. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Kennedy released the constant contact switch for the Vindicator. I actually keep on forgetting. I got to go on their site and buy one. I want I want to check that out. Uh, what's your favorite? Muhammad wants to know what's my favorite dual coil RTA. Uh, the Rebirth RTA, man. The Rebirth. That's my favorite. Right there. 
you haven't seen it, presentation video is on YouTube. I did it like a little over a week ago, the video for the rebirth. Check it out. Yeah, that's the only thing with the polished uh, color. It's hard to match up. You can't really put, unless you have something polished. I don't have no polish. But I threw the gun metal on there. I don't know, it looks good. It looks fine to me. Dane Bentley says that MCM mods did that top before the keen. All right, like I said, I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the keen switch does not go on the Dreamer mod, vice versa. Yeah, it's a different switch. He's talking about... We're talking about this piece here. Just this alone. If this is interchangeable, someone said it is. I'm going to check. We'll see. I'll let everyone know when I do the video. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Kennedy Vindicator Constant Contact Switch is the shit. There you go. Someone said it's the shit in chat. Yeah, I got to get one. Let's juice up this rebirth. Yeah, buddy. Hello, Mr. Rubin. What's good, man? Uh, what do you guys think about Trinity Alpha? What's that? That's the, Oh, I also got that. I think I showed it. There you go. Trinity Alpha. Uh, that's not my style. This is more of just this is a direct lung vape. Can't really mouth the lung this. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It's all right. It's not my style. It's small stuff like that. I want to be able to do mouth lung with it. This should have had some sort of airflow control maybe on here or something. But it's pretty cool the way the pod comes out. You press a button and it just slips right up, slips down. Little slider, oop, little slider thing for your top fill, which is pretty cool. You know, it's got three different power levels. Does look like an Orion, right? Does look like the Orion. The same body style. Focus, motherfucker. Steve, come on, man. What the fuck? So, yeah. I still think the Orion... Oh, there you go. The Orion looks better. In my opinion. Uh, exactly, Ricky. If it doesn't have an airflow adjustment, that's a fail. In my opinion. Uh, make recurve RDA V2 and make it mesh sheet coil compatible. I'm not a big mesh guy RDA person. That's not like my thing. I like regular coils. That's my jam. That's the way I roll. I wouldn't go and design something that I don't roll with. You know, you know. Uh, what is a constant contact switch? Oh, great question. I'll show you. I will show you. You could see here. When I press the fire button. The actual switch doesn't move because this is constantly making contact to the battery. When I press the switch, the actual contact is happening inside here. It's making the contact. You know, so that's what it means by constant contact. Hopefully I said that correctly. But anyway, yeah. I use recurve RDA and intake RDA every day. Thank you, Georgie Ness. No, it's not going to be a mesh. And it's not the it's not called a recurve V2. It's called the recurve dual. That's what's coming out. Recurve dual RDA is coming out not right now, but that's the next project. Jake Freeman says, "What's up, peeps? What's up, man? What up? Do we got any other Nunu? I just reviewed this if you guys didn't see it. I just did the Z beep uh, All-in-one uh, vape mouth-to-lung system, also from Minikin. This thing vapes good. Great mouth-to-lung vape. It's a little bit on the big side. It's not a pot system, it's an all-in-one, but awesome vape of it. Very nice. Uh, Carl says that he has a Brizzo and it's the shit. Hell yeah, man. Uh, beer says dual makes sense. Yeah, of course. Got to release the dual coil version. 
The dual coil recurve. Hell yeah. Mikey B, what's up, brother? What's good? Jordan Roberts, what's up? Mike, uh, Vindicator, Constant Contact is silver. Wouldn't the OG copper switch be better? I don't know. Silver, copper, don't matter to me. It's all about your build, baby. That's the way I see it. It's all about your build. You know, I th if I'm not mistaken, silver is more conductive than copper. Am I right? Am I correct there, chat? Somebody in chat? Mech, mech users out there, isn't silver supposed to be better than copper? I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember offhand. Uh, best wires. Uh, Dano 136, yes. Yes, it will. Mike, have you tried the new pod by UL? Moto Vapor, welcome to my uh, channel, Mike Vapes channel. Uh, you could go on my channel and you could see my review for the Caliburn. The UL Caliburn, which is in my pocket. I keep it in my pocket all the time. There we go. There it is. My Caliburn. Hell yeah. Full review on YouTube. There's Joe Chung says silver. Uh, where did his contact go? I just pressed the button here. Silver contact contact switch vindicator is silver plated. Okay, it's silver plated. Uh, silver is better than copper, people are saying in chat. Silver is the most conduct conductive metal. All right, there you go. So there you go, Kathy. That should answer your question. Gold is the best, someone saying in chat. Who's saying? Hey, who's saying from Kuwait's in chat? What's up, brother? Hello, Dennis from Greece. Yes, silver is better, but silver plated copper is really no difference. Okay. If it's silver plated copper, there's no difference, someone says. Yeah, if it was a, a full silver, not silver plated, yeah, that's the best of all. But still, it's it's fine. It's all good. Even the switch I have right now in the Vindicator is good. Which I, I'm not even using the Vindicator. I got my, my Vindicator right there. Uh, yeah. What other new mechs? Oh, I was using this. Using this here. That's the uh, the Rogue Twenty One Seven Hundred Snakes on a Plane Edition. It's like a snake skin on this one. J Marks. This one is serial number three. Yep, I bought this one when I was at NVE. I still haven't used the other one I got from NVE. I bought I bought this off of uh, from Purge Mods when I was there. I think it's called Viper. I'm not sure. There you go. This is a pretty big 21700. If I throw a... I think the top of this is like 28, 29 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. So if I throw a 24 on there, it looks weird. That's nice with an uh, like a 26 millimeter or 28 millimeter RDA on top of this mech. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have bought that mech. I didn't realize how big it was. I like my shit to look nice with the 24s and 25s on them. I don't really use too many 28s and 30s on RDAs. Uh, Justin says, uh, Molly Cell P42s are where it's at. Hell yeah, I got actually got Molly Cells right here. I got I got a 20, Molly Cell 21 700s. There you go. Hell yeah. I got 21700s here. I also got... There you go. I got the 18650 Molly cells too. Uh, Mike, what do you think of the Purge Slam piece? I have it. I. It's not for me. It's not my style. That button... That's on it. I uh, wasn't really a big fan of the the switch on here, but I have the slam piece. I bought this one in uh, when I was in Virginia NVE. I bought that one. Uh, does the Molly cell hit harder than the 30T? 
Uh, no, batteries cannot, in my opinion, don't hit harder. It's all up to your build. That's what I think. I don't really notice anything. Plus, I haven't used the molly cells in the Mac. First time using the molly cells, I actually threw them inside this boxer. 21700. Yep. But I heard that the uh, 18650 molly cells are better than uh, VTC 5As. Let's see, do you still have the pipe mod and never use it? Uh, I have no clue where my pipe mod is. I don't know where it is. The one from Smoke? I don't know what I did with it. Let's see. All your matte black stuff always looks great. Thank you, GMAT. Yeah, I love matte black is the shit for me. I love matte black and gunmetal. That's the way I roll, baby. Uh, let's see. X E Xero Vapes says that my vapes. I want to grab a Rebirth RTA, but want to know if flavor is as good as dual coil. The, the Rebirth RTA is a dual coil RTA. X E R O. You can watch my presentation video, and plus a lot of people already did videos on the Rebirth RTA. You can check it out. Let's see. T.A. Panos, $5 donation. Thank you, brother. Left my Caliburn in a cab yesterday. Should I replace it with the Z-Beep instead of another Caliburn? If you like the way the Caliburn hits, get the Caliburn. The Caliburn hits harder, in my opinion, than the Z-Beep. So if you like the hit of the Caliburn, get a Caliburn. If you thought the hit was too hard for you on the Caliburn, get yourself a Z-Beep. But they're both awesome mouth-to-lung vapes. Chris is still rocking that Siren V2. Chris, did I send that to you? I don't remember if that's you that I sent it to. I remember sending a, a Siren V2 to somebody. Let's see. Uh, Dave Mack, I think a Battery Mooch did uh, reviews on the Molly Cell. Oh, Zero. Okay, your name is Zero. Yes, but I have, uh, anyway, a full video presentation for the Rebirth RTA. Dual coil RTA. It's a dual coil RTA. It's a flavor machine. TA Pano says, thanks. Another caliber and it is. There you go. Uh, straight glass capacity is 2 ml. There you go. It's right on the, on the front of the box. 2 ml and 5 ml. If that's what you're asking about this RTA. Not sure. Yeah, that's where I got that info. Mo Mooch. Good. Yeah, Mooch is the man when it comes to that shit. Let's see here. Uh, Angelos Marftalis, and I butchered your Greek name, even though I know Greek, but it's, yeah, I butchered your name anyway. He says, hello, Mike, any opinions on doggy style mouth to lung RTA? What? Doggy style MTL RTA? I've never heard of it. Uh, when will the Rebirth RTA be in the UK, Mike? Uh, I'm not sure. You're going to have to find out from, uh, what's that distro? BK, BK distro, BKS, I think they're called. They'll, they'll have them. They're going to have them, uh, probably in, uh, maybe like in a week, 10 days, something like that. I think it's being released. I can't give a date because it's, I don't have a, an exact date. They just told me middle of the month. Storm Vapor has a Rebirth RTA. There's a couple of people in chat. There's actually quite a few people in chat that have the Rebirth RTA. Yep. A few a few of my Patreons have it already. Yeah, VTC6 is better than the LG uh, HG2s. Much better.
There you go. Whoever's got the Rebirth RTA in chat, give your opinions. Hello, Jan Miller. What's up? Uh, Sharon wants to know if I'm married. Yes, I'm married. If you want to see my wife, I actually have another channel called Mike Life. If you go down in the description, there's a link to my other channel. I actually have two videos with the wife inside there. I actually have a video on this channel somewhere with the wife. She's been on Mike Vape's channel once. There you go. Uh, Zero Vape says, uh, Hallelujah, Mike. Vaping is finally finally legal in Dubai. Awesome, man. I remember you telling me about that. I think you, you were moving, right, Zero? I remember talking to you about it. You were moving from the UK to Dubai, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was you. There you go, Joe Chung says the Rebirth RTA is the bomb. Uh, Storm Vapor says Rebirth is better than the Reload RTA. There you go. Uh, do you like Boxer better than a Rebel? Uh, I don't care. I don't care about any of those. They're both good. It's what you like. Dave Max says, The Rebirth RTA is my go-to RTA. Perfect vape. Nothing but flavor. It's a must-have. There you go. Uh, Tanya Urban. I fixed it. The coupon code works now. The coupon code works, but if you're signed up, if you're signed up to get the email alerts, an email alert actually went out today for a, a discount code for 20%. So whoever signed up on Hit That Juice, check your email. It's in there. I got a sale going on. What's up, Jordan? My man. Uh, Bill says intake life. Hell yeah. I've been like working slowly. I've been working on trying to make a, 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 a dual coil intake RTA with a little bit more airflow. Obviously, it's going to have more airflow and to do dual coils in it. But the RTA is going to end up being a bigger sized RTA, 28 millimeter maybe. So yeah, I've been working on it. That's That'll be some time towards... The fall, if anything. We'll see. Or if it even happens. I'm not sure. But if you're on my Patreon, you will get updates. I give all updates on shit on Patreon. Links in the description. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, sign up. But I did fix the uh, the Amy Relish uh, one. It's for all e-liquids. It should, it should be working now. I fixed it. I think uh, I saw your message. I think it was you that said something that the uh, that the coupon code didn't work on certain liquids or something. Uh, John Krasniak, yes, you are correct. Oh, I have an announcement. I just saw his name, and it's funny because I have. I'm gonna make an announcement. I have my top, uh, my the uh, fifteen, the twenty five, and the fifty. Dollar tiers. I'm going to announce the winners of those three tiers. I'll announce them here and I'll also post it on Patreon. The $15 tier, Rebecca Ray. All right, Rebecca Ray, you've won that giveaway. Uh, the $25 tier, Rudimar Prunzel, you've won that one. And the $50 tier, uh, which he's in chat, that's how I just got reminded, John Krasniak. Congrats to the three of you. All right, so I'll be. Uh, Putting that also up on Instagram, I mean Instagram, on Patreon. And uh, just to let you guys know, you know that you've won. Uh, Evangelos, what do you think? I'm not going to get into it again with the real ODS, whatever. The real ODS, basically, I had a design, just so people know, for the recurve version 2, and I had to scrap the recurve single version 2. Because they basically took my design for the V2 and made their own. They made the V2 for me. Fucking scumbags. But anyway. So yeah. So it's fucked up what they did. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. 
And if you do get a re, re uh, whatever it's called, reload S, and you enjoy it, beautiful thing. Good for you guys. As long as you're vaping. That's all I care about. As long as you're vaping. I do not care. So anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't, I'm done with that. Uh, let's see here. Recurve Life on Recurve Mod Combo. Only RDA I've ever loved and used for over six months. Thank you, Zero. Who are we congratulating? Oh, the winners, though. <laughs> Let's see here. Mike, I sent Mark a challenge to do a Zero Nick show. Uh, I don't have too many Zero Nick stuff, so it's going to be kind of hard. I don't think he has any Zero Nick to do that challenge. But if, I, I could do it easily for a show. I don't think that's really a big challenge. You want to hear a challenge? Doing the whole show without vaping. Now that could be a challenge. We could just show our mods, but we're not allowed to take a vape from them for all, throughout the whole show. Uh, your opinion on Kennedy 25 RDA, Mike? Uh, Christos, all you got to do is go on my channel. I have a review for the Kennedy 25. I reviewed that a while ago. Uh, Mike, will the Rebirth RTA replace your go-to engine V2? Oh, it's replaced it. I haven't, I haven't vaped on the engine V2 uh, since the Rebirth RTA. I've actually, like I was saying, I have... Where's my Rebirth? Where's my Rebirth? Oh, I'm holding it in my hands. My Rebirth actually got Joe Mother F... I got the Raspberry Custard inside there. Yeah, buddy. Egal, I talked about the bulk already in the beginning. On the replay, you could see I did talk about the bulk. There it is. It's a nice bulky 28mm RTA. It's not going to fit on a lot of mods. See, like this one got some overhang. On some, it will fit. It's like, But on a lot of mods, you're going to have overhang, certain mods. So it's one of those things. But it's a nice RTA. It's got some cons. I've already discussed it with, uh, with Mr. Fagan, but it's I like it. Let's see. But for the cons that I d did mention to Fagan, he told me that they're going to be corrected with the retail version. Mike, do a bulk. I can't bulk my hoodie. Mike, uh, what is that? Dead Goat, Mike, you tried it? No. I actually was going to buy the Dead Goat top cap and build deck when I was at NVE. And uh, I got sidetracked and didn't buy it. I was fucking pissed. I'll probably go on the site and buy one. Uh, I am right. Royal Vapes in the UK, right? Just wondering. As I am in UK. Yes. Uh, RoyalVapeProducts.com. If I'm not mistaken. That's the website that uh, I got that from. What's up, peeps, from Curtis? What's good, man? What's up, what's up? Uh, did you answer Shogun and drag question? Uh, I don't have the drag. I prefer the Shogun. I guess. There you go. Hala hala, what's good? What's up, Joshua? What's good, man? Any other new stuff we got laying around here I could show? Oh, I got another pod system here. This one here from Aspire I've been testing out. Review on this one soon too. Pod system. I know. Boring. Boring. Yeah, buddy. Uh, have I ever tried uh, Malaysian juice? No. Usually those are too sweet. They put a lot of sweetener in their juices. Bulk of phone book. What? Yeah, I don't got too much stuff. I mean, I showed I have some stuff to review. I got... Uh, the the smoke morph I got that one I have the uh, FP uh, fat FP the QP fatality uh, M25 RTA I got the bulk RTA I got the keen mechanical mod I have the slide by Enikin this tank here mouth and lung tank I have the uh, Whatever this is called, the Trinity Alpha. There you go. 
So yeah, I got some stuff to review. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No review today. Today's my day off. Even yesterday, I took a day off. Yesterday, I was just doing some stuff around the house. I needed to do today a day off, but I figured, you know what? Let me go live. Say hi to all my peeps. Yeah, that morph looks great. Do you like the morph? Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. Uh, do you think of a plate in the Rebirth post to help with capture of leads? No, nah, the Rebirth wasn't made for beginners. It was made for people that know how to do coil placement. It's a very easy build deck. It's only hard for people that say it's hard, but then when they put the build in, it's easy. Trust me, it's easy. Uh, let's see. When is the review? I don't have a select dates on stuff that when I'm gonna review it. Just goes up. You know, sometimes I'll post it on on uh, Patreon, upcoming. When I remember to post, like this is gonna be reviewed today, like right before I'm gonna start recording the video, I'll post it on Inst on uh, Patreon. Why do I say Instagram? Look. Uh, Storm Vapor says, Mike Vapes, don't kid yourself. You're always working, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a workaholic. Yep. Oh, for people interested in my health, just in case, there might be some. But I feel fucking awesome. I feel great. I'm still on medication. Still on medications. But I feel fucking... Mm. So, yeah. Feel good. Feel good, baby. Uh, let's see. With the coily thing, I think looks pretty... It is simple. I mean, look. If Grim Green could throw the build up in like three seconds live on YouTube with no issues at all, there you go. That explains it. But remember, Grim has some experience also. But live, he did it with no issues at all. The people that are going to have issues are people that are inexperienced. The inexperienced will have... A little bit issue because it's a little confusing to them it's confusing but it's not confusing at all as long as you cut the coils the right size stick both coils inside there hold them down with your finger your thumb and just tighten them up that's it there's no yeah there's, there's no thinking to it it's made so simple and easy especially you're getting that little tool to cut the coils you know or if you don't want to use a tool use a coily 7.5 millimeters perfect I recommend three millimeter coils in it too. Three millimeter coils, perfect. Uh, for people that are asked about uh, round wire builds, check out my Instagram. I got a picture of a round wire build. St Vapes put a round wire build in his first build and was using it. Round wire worked perfectly inside there. It's just patience and you know. Yeah, it is piss easy. And plus it's easier. The Rebirth RTA is easier to put your coils in than the RDA. The RDA was a little bit further apart. Further apart? What the hell did I just say? Further apart, the posts. So it was a little bit harder just to get both leads in. But the RTA, they're closer. So it's even easier with the RTA. Yes, Tony Laura. Use the error, baby. Mm. That flavor. All right. What time is it? I don't want to keep this at an hour. We got uh, 54 minutes. Six more minutes. We'll do this. Uh, any questions? If you guys have questions in the chat, and I'm sorry if I don't answer everyone's questions. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sometimes when I'm talking, I can't like re chat and talk at the same time. I'm answering something. You might be an asking a question while I'm answering a question. It's it's hard. I try my best. You know? I try my best. Uh, Mike, will you send me... You have a Rebirth RTA, ST. You got two of them. Hell yeah. Let's see. So yeah, if you got any questions, ask them now before we sign off. Hey, Mike, which pod do you prefer to use? I, I like using the Caliburn. The Caliburn. 
Uh, is it painful to drip on the Rebirth RDA? Uh, no, I mean, if you have pain squeezing the bottle to, to drip in the Rebirth, you might have arthritis in your hands. That's the only thing I could think of. Or maybe hands broken. Uh, shiz, something I'll pay you money, what? Uh, let's see, Mike, most leak resistant, cheaper RDA over dripper, thanks. Uh, get something like the drop dead. It's not leak resistant. That's if you're looking for a dual coil RDA. That's a good beginner's RDA in my opinion. It's just simple. Uh, Mike, Vaping with Vic had an interesting wicking technique for the Unity. Would it work on a Rebirth RTA? I don't know. I haven't, I don't, I don't watch other people's reviews. Thank you for the donation, uh, Garrett Rekdal. I only watch uh, other reviewers' presentation videos. I think it's, uh, out of respect, it should be done. You know, I know some reviewers don't do that, but I think it's respectful to do it, to watch their presentation video. Kyle Miyakusu. Why don't more YouTubers do head-to-head -head product comparisons more often? Uh, don't know. I think it's, in a way, disrespectful to do shit like that. I think the review should speak for itself on that product. And you should be able to establish whether you like something or not, if it's, if it's your style or not. Uh, Mike Vase, will the Rebirth RTA be at the... Yes, it will be in the UK at the Expo. Oh, yeah, it'll be there, of course. Hellvape is going to be there. Yep, Hellvape will be in the UK Vape Expo. And they're also going to be in Germany. They're going to be in Germany at that big uh, event, uh, Stuttgart, Germany, whatever it's called. I can't remember. But for the German peeps watching, Hellvape will be there too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Any other questions? Mike, what is the best? Uh, I don't know if it's the best, but you're asking me what do I like better, the modifying Draco or the Anakin Proton? I like the Proton. Yep, I did a best of 2018, and that was one of my best of mods in my best of 2018 video. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. If they don't forget to book the booth, <laughs> that's right, Dave. Uh, let's see. Joshua Lee says, uh, get the re get the recurve RDA, brother. The recurve. If you want a single coil, if you want to build a nice wide coils in there, you have plenty of room in the recurve. I'm sure there's people in chat that'll vouch for the recurve RDA. Uh, no. Uh, Moto Vapor, do not, uh, contact me for, if you have ideas for drippers. I don't want nobody. Please do not, I don't want people, I always get people that... As soon as I say I have an idea or can you check out my idea, I erase the email right away. I do not want to see nobody's ideas for their stuff because if I already have that idea, I don't want you to think I stole it from you. So I don't want to see nobody's ideas on what they have coming out or what they want to release or they want to find a company to manufacture that for them and they ask me to look at their product. I do not want to see it because that's the way shit happens. Oh, you copied my... St no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see nothing from nobody. No, do not send them to me. There you go. Chat, everybody. Love my recurve. Recurve rocks. Love my recurve. Best flavor, sub-ohm tank. Sub-ohm tank. Uh, I love the New Horizon tank, the Falcon King. That's the one I would go for. That one, I like the Crown uh, version 4 too. But the Falcon King is the king right now, in my opinion. No, Tony, do not send ideas now. What's up, Nick Thompson? Yeah, no offense to you, Moto. Trust me. If I, if I, if I didn't make my own products, didn't design shit, then I would say, yeah, send it to me and I'll, I'll let you know. If I had no plans. But if I have plans, I should, yeah. You know, yeah, I can't. I don't want to see nobody's stuff. Yeah, because ST does have all the CAD files. Hells yeah. 
Uh, how do you get a manufacturer's attention and still protect your product idea? Well, you got to have some pull, too. If they try to screw you, you're going to call them out. Look at Tiger Tech. Tiger Tech screwed uh, Fagan, and they went out of business. We, we, you know, everybody's protesting Tiger Tech. They screwed Fagan. They screwed uh, a vaping with Twisted 420. So, it's very easy for reviewers to destroy a company if they do wrong. You know, you know. That's right, New York baby, my man Dave Mack. Why are you always wearing black, uh, Jeffrey? When I wore blue during my la when I was uh, on my other review, why didn't you ask me why didn't why do I always wear blue? Uh, let's see here. Black's my favorite color, baby. Uh, can I send you ideas, please? No purge killers. Do not send me shit. Will you ever review Vupu again? No, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm not going to say no, but uh, I don't think I will. Like, that company has done too much shady shit. Mike, can I have your firstborn sent to me, please? You're fucking crazy, Scott. All right, guys, let's end it here. I think we've been in one hour. Yes, we're a little over an hour. We're done. Let's all grab a vape. We're going to have a vape together and get on out of here. But before we go, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank uh, everybody that watches me here on YouTube. Thank you for all the support. Big thank you to my Patreon peeps. Love you guys and gals. Love you all on Patreon. And if you want to check out Patreon, there's a link down below. Check it out. If you want to check out my other channel, Mike Life. There's a link down below. If you want to check out what gear I use to record videos and so forth. Affiliate links for Amazon down below. Check them out. Alright. I think I'm done here. Pretty good live stream. Nice. I liked it. It was a nice flow in the chat. It wasn't too fast. I like this. I like it better. I like having 300 instead of sometimes 800 or 1000 with the chats going so quick. And I can't read comments. I know my OGs are watching me. Shout out to all my OGs out there too. I that's it. Review tomorrow. Not sure what I'm reviewing. We'll see when I wake up. We'll see what I'll review. All right. Later all. Peace out. Let's grab a vape. Let's get on out of here. Do it. Peace. Now how do we end the Steve? End the stream. What the fuck? <laughs>